Installation and Configuration of the R8 Second Life Kit As the displays of the various motorbike models differ, we have chosen wording in this tutorial that applies to all models. We will show you the installation and configuration using a BMW R1200GS as an example. Please note that work on the brake system should only be carried out by a trained specialist. The motorbike must be in perfect condition and the battery must be charged. Please first switch off the ignition. To prevent the front brake reservoir from leaking, please fit the brake lever with a cable tie. Now remove your original BMW FTE ABS control unit. Install the RH Second Life kit into the vehicle using the original brackets. Now connect the electronic connector plug. The two plugs for monitoring the brake fluid level are no longer required. Please secure them in a suitable place with cable tires. Now attach the four brake lines to the correct assigned connector. To do this, please use the four new seals and clips supplied, which are already attached to the unit. Secure the clips with the original protective caps on the brake lines. Lead the brake system according to the manufacturer's specifications without ABS. Use only DO2-4 brake fluid. We recommend conventional bleeding by pumping on the brake levers. Then carry out a pressure test and check the entire system for leaks. Before assembling the motorbike, we recommend that you first check the function of the brake and tail lights by switching on the ignition. Then program the warning lights. In order to program the warning lights, you need an overview of the function displays and to select the mode you want. The four possible modes. Each motorbike has two warning lights in the cockpit. The general warning light and the ABS warning light. Depending on the motorbike type, the display is slightly different. The general warning light is always represented by a triangle with an exclamation mark. The ABS warning light is represented by a circle with an exclamation mark or directly by the ABS designation. The colors may vary for the different models. We use these two designs in our illustration. Here is an overview of the four possible modes. Mode 4 is only possible with analog models. After successful installation of the second life kit, the ABS warning light displays the following. Mode 1. Approach test is active. The ABS warning light flashes slowly until a speed of 5 km per hour has been reached. It then goes out. Mode 2. The ABS warning light is permanently on. Mode 3. The ABS warning light is permanently off. And Mode 4. The ABS warning light is permanently off. The RH Second Life Kit is able to diagnose errors in the system. The following system relevant components are monitored. Rear light, brake light. Rear wheel sensor for speedometer and speed. Brake light switch on the foot and handbrake levers. The display of these faults is shown via the general warning light. In mode 1 to 3, the error display is active. In mode 4, the error display is inactive. Please choose which mode is the right one for you. Programming First, switch off the ignition. Apply the front and rear brakes and then switch on the ignition. Continue to hold down both brakes. Wait approximately 30 seconds until the ABS warning light is permanently lit and the general warning light is off. You are now in programming mode. On vehicles with an electronic speedometer, the speedometer needle will now also indicate a speed of 20 km per hour. If a higher speed is displayed, this represents an error message. Any errors must be corrected beforehand. 40 km per hour. The coding of the vehicle is faulty or unknown. 60 km per hour, a fault with the tail light or brake light can be detected. 80 km per hour, the real wheel sensor reports an error. 100 km per hour, low voltage. If you are in programming mode, you can now release the brakes. 
By pressing the front wheel brake lever, you can change to the next mode. You can recognize the currently selected mode by the behavior of the general warning light. In mode 1, it is off. In mode 2, the general warning light is flashing. In mode 3, it flashes fast. In mode 4, it flashes super fast. If no input is made for 10 seconds, you automatically exit programming mode. The last selected state is saved. The completion of programming is indicated by both warning lights going out. With an electronic speedometer, the needle will drop back to 0 km per hour. Switch the ignition off and on again to check the stored mode by means of the ABS warning light. It is possible to change the mode again at any time. You can now reassemble the motorbike and carry out a test ride. The braking function on the front wheel and rear wheel must be clearly demonstrated. Please note that the power assisted braking and ABS function are no longer available. The braking system is now less maintenance intensive and prone to faults, and it is also easier to adjust. Please note, however, that both wheels can lock during emergency braking because you do not have the ABS function. When using a diagnostic tool, the ABS control unit is no longer found or can no longer be accessed. You will receive a 24-month guarantee on your RH Second Life kit. Please note that when a motorbike is modified, the road registration in Germany always expires. The vehicle is now authorized for racing purposes only. In order to obtain renewed road approval, you will need an individual vehicle approval. Therefore, we offer you the complete installation, including the individual vehicle approval. You can find more information in our videos. The problem with the integral ABS from FTE, the RH Second Life Kit, and information about the individual vehicle approval. <laughs>